Ah, uh, well, that graphic is wrong. That is not Nicolas Mendes. <laughs> but I'm going to give the stats anyway for Nicolas Mendes, who is in the white corner tonight. Nicolas Mendes, otherwise known as the Black Bull, 28, eight-year-old, originally from Senegal, now resides in Spain. There he is, 190 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 52 fights, with 36 victories, 15 losses, and one draw. Well, poor Paul Banasek is just not going to get his graphic put up. <laughs> I got you, Paul. He is the Reaper. He is from Poland, fighting out of the United States of America. Also a very tall fighter, 190 centimeters. This fight taking place at 77 kilograms. He's been training Muay Thai for 10 years, and uh, he's a very experienced fighter, even though his record might not necessarily show it with 41 fights, 29 wins, 10 losses, and two draws. Has fought for Lion and Glory before, so he's been around. Indeed. You've just joined us, boys and girls. This is the first semi-final of a scheduled two semi-finals in this particular tournament. 72.5 kilogram middleweight tournament. However, I have been notified that... You're going to try to explain this? <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so laughs> You're going the for it? The trophy is the middleweight tournament trophy or the 72.5 kg King's Cup trophy. However, they have allowed the fighters to weigh in at 77 kilograms. So whoever does progress and win the trophy will be the middleweight... Kings Cup champion, but they just weighed in a little more, I guess. Here we go, the first semi-final, two sem scheduled semi-finals here tonight in the white corner. Nicolas Mendez from Spain. And Paul Benesek from the United States of America. Good outside leg kicks there from Mendez. You has fought here at Thai Fight a few times before. Oh my goodness, right hand from Mendez. Oh, and he's looking Benesek a little, might be in trouble yeah, he's, already. He's looking a little wobbly there. Yeah, that straight was a away. beautiful short right hand connecting to the chin of Benesek, and down he went. Says he's good to go, but let's see if he's regained his equilibrium here. Mendez is capable of the highlight finish. We've seen it before. Yeah, he actually defeated Sensatan here at Thai Fight. Beautiful flying knee did the trick there. And he is ranked te top 10 in the world by the World Muay Thai Organization. He's got a top 10 physique, that's for sure. Both looking trim. Good elbow there from the American fighter on Independence Day, Adam. Good right kick to the body, though, in reply from Mendez. And start looking for that right hook and then low kick. Mendez delivers a low kick of his own. Back to the body goes Mendez. I wonder if either a fighter has fought someone as tall as them. Might have been a while here in Thailand. Good outside kick again there from the American. 190 centimeters is not a common height for a Muay Thai fighter by any means. Well, especially here in Thailand. Well, it's going to be easy to focus on the action in the ring today as there's nothing going on outside of the ring. We are here at JF Punpong Muang Stadium in Chonburi Pattaya, and we are fanless. There are no fans here today, except unless you want to count us, Aaron. Aaron yeah, and I, of course, are fans. Great combinations there from Banasek, you call him? Banasek? Banasek, yeah. Banasek. Oh, elbow there! Oh, oh right that elbow, elbow dropped him! That could be it! That could be all she wrote! Beautifully placed short elbow there from Mendez. Yeah, he's face planting and again for the Benesek second time looks, in this yeah. round. But he looks really out of it this time. Blood under the left eye. And Mendez might be just trying to finish him off, but the bell's coming up shortly. Can Benesek survive? You have to remember that Mendez beat Sensatan. He went the distance with Complicant in a very good fight. He has fought Teng Neng before. He is in the second semi final later here tonight. So I'm sure Mendez will be looking to not walk through Vanacek, but he wants to go through to the final to potentially fight Teng Neng for a second time. He did lose to Teng Neng by KO. But he's gotten much, so much better since that fight last year, no doubt about it. I mean, to not center time out is no mean feat. Nice straight right hand, followed by a right kick to the body from Mendez. It's been a great round for him. Oh, nice elbow attacks there. You gotta wonder how much of it is just nerves as well, fighting for Thai fight for the first time is Benesek, whereas Mendez, this is his fourth time fighting in the Thai fight ring. Oh, elbows again coming in. Oh, and he's cut again over the top oh, of the left eye. Right hook. Oh, saved by the bell. 
Fantastic Again, look how the way he's walking back to the corner here at tie fight. A fantastic round for Mendez. There's the short right that knocked Benesek down moments into the fight. And I imagine we're going to see that right elbow as well. And down he went again. Cut him. Finished the round with a flurry of elbows as well. That was a 10-8 round if I've ever seen one, Aaron. We're looking for that spinning back elbow. Oh, right hook there. Beautifully timed from Mendez. He then moved in with a left hand. Yes! Clinch they go, but again, I like at tie fight, they don't really want you to utilize that clinch. Benesek looks like he's at least uh, recovered on the inside. However, his exterior is an absolute mess. Good body shot there from Benesek. Looks like he's been in a car accident. Mendez still taking his time. Oh, and again! Benesek, not overroad, still going in with those combinations and delivered a nice looking elbow. Oh, that blood is pouring from the top of the floor. It looks like he's going into the left eye there, Adam. Good left hook from Mendes, just over the top. It's almost like a wrestling injury, like he took the razor blade to his forehead in the first round. Mendes spinning again, back look, elbow attempt. He's looking for that elbow, it's not necessary. Oh, good right hand there, straight yeah, down he the pipe hole. You're right, he doesn't need to get fancy. Everything that worked for him in the first round was straightforward. Straight right hands, short right hooks, and crisp elbows. But fair play to Banasek. He's not took one step back in the second round. Oh, nice leg kick, that hurt! Yeah, he has to block those leg kicks there, Adam. Definitely hurt him. He's doing really well in he this is. second round. Beautiful combinations, great hands. All energy, all output there from the Polish-American fighter. like the American Konklai, he just likes to see his own blood first before he <laughs> yeah, maybe. turns on the Jets. Good nice body, body work as well from Benesek. All Benicek. output, all output. Good knee there from Mendes. Well, we've seen Mendes fade before here at Thai Fight. They're going to take a look at that I, cut. I was about to say, they need to take a look at it to be honest. I hope they don't stop it though. I hope they don't look too carefully because they might see right out the back of his head. <laughs> It would be a shame to stop this fight right now because he's he's winning this round easily. It'd be unfair to Banasek. Nice knees to the body there as well, stabbing knees from the American fighter. Mendes and good body work. I love that combination. It, I don't know why, but Mendes seems to be getting in his head that he has to throw those elbows. He has to make it an elbow war. I don't know why he's doing that. It's not necessary at all. It's not well, as you said, Aaron, kicks. he's just getting outworked. You remember in the first round, it was from beautiful body kicks to the body kicks. With all that, oh, left elbow. I thought he had him then. All that's disappeared, and he's looking for that over the top spinning is that, elbow. Is that one of the bonus techniques? Is he looking for a payday? No, no, no. I'll talk about that later. Outside kick, and I'll tell you what, Adam, that right Curtis. leg is in, in Unbelievable agony. turn of events here in round two. As ben Incredible stuff from Benesek here in round two. As good as Mendez looked in round one, he looked equally as bad in round two. There's that leg kick that was bothering him. And really, as you said, Aaron, it was just output from Benesek. Just uh, a lot of leg kicks, a lot of body work, and just controlled the pace and the action. And we got a fight now, Aaron. We really do. One fight each. Remember, boys and girls, the winner of this will advance to the final to take on either Teng Nung or Nicholas Rooney. Next month, we hope, in the final. He's going right back to that thigh kick, Aaron. And why not? He knows it worked for him in round two. And if I was in Mendez's corner, I would have told him, just get back to the basics. Throw that right hand, throw that right kick. Don't, you don't need to get too fancy. I feel like right now, which I didn't think I would say in the first round, it's Banasek to lose. Well, I, I mean, I think I, I had round one, 10-8. You did? For oh, Mendes. The and then right. round two, 10-9 yes. for, for Benesek. So I think Benesek actually needs to win this you're round right. just to get a draw. But I'm wrong almost every time that I predict the scorecard. Oh, you're so. correct, 100%. <laughs> I actually forgot about the knock round. Well, you knocked him down twice in that first round, so. But I mean, he he's oh he doesn't look confident here in round three either. Another left kick to the body there from Banasek. 
Inside kick from Mendes going by and Carr. Nice little shovel up a cut there. Yeah, that was beautiful. Benesek just simply looks like a different fighter. He, he looks so uncomfortable in round one, and now he just, just looks like he belongs. Yeah, beautiful time right elbow there from Banasek. Dropping down the guard of Mendes and then sneaking that right cross in. But Mendes looks absolutely exhausted here, Adam. Yeah, like I said, we've seen him have, I don't want to say cardio issues, but we've seen him fade in, in fights here before. And, you know, I hate to make it a physique thing, but, you know, so often you see those, those fighters that are really muscled up suffer from cardio issues. This is really easy for Banasek right now. The way he's moving forward. And yeah, Mendes isn't really offering anything in the way of resistance here in round three, similar to round two. He looks like he's just hanging on. More but I'm going to be really curious to see what happens with the scorecards here. Do they go to a fourth round? It would have to be, wouldn't it? Oh, he's exhausted. He's out on his feet. Deep breath there from Mendes. Good knee to the body from Banasek. I feel like the leg kicks in the second round completely took away the base of Mendes. And after that, oh, look at that again, going back to the body. Left and right coming in from Banasek. Final moments now of the third and final round. Outside five kick from Banasek. He's looking in tremendous shape. Sneaky left elbow. Good block that time from Mendes. Oh, he's just having a field day in there. It's like he's, it's like Mendes is his sparring partner, preparing him for a fight. He's just in there being a punching bag. It's crazy, because I don't, I don't really know what it was that got into his head in between round one and two and three, Aaron, that completely changed the way this fight happened. Well, looking at it from the outset, we're not the judges. We have to say 10-8 Mendes. Yeah, I mean, then, I, I would score Banasek a 10 8 won, first round Mendes. Second and third, which would make it a draw. And we'd yeah. have to go for a, a fourth extra round. That's what, that, I mean, that's honestly what I think. I can't really see it going another way. But as I said, I have been wrong <laughs> so many times before. Usually when Payak Samui is involved. But we'll see what these judges say. I'd have to think if it does go to a fourth round, Mendes has got nothing left. Highlight. Well, apart from a few spinning back elbows, it was all Banasek. It was all output. To be honest, I don't even think Banasek did that much in round three. I just think that Mendez didn't do anything. I think so it was a combination of both, if I'm being honest. Let's see how the judges scored it. เอาละครับแน่นอนว่าเบียร์ดิวัสซูกับจิ๊บตาครับคุณแอนนี่นะครับผมเพราะว่าเลือดแบบเข้าตาจิ๊บตาเนี่ยตรงกันแบบโอ